hi everyone in this video i'll be showing you how to design a business card with photoshop and this is coming up it's not a game it's a thing if you are new here thanks so much for clicking on this video please subscribe uh, to our videos and get more from us and if you are old here thanks so much for showing up again i've downloaded a series of um, resources i'll be using for these tutorials so um i'll be using all this to make a design so let's move to photoshop first i will create a new document and set the size i like using centimeters 8.5 by 5.5 so this is the size we'll be using for our business card first i'll unlock my background and this is what i will do remove the stroke Okay, then I'll create a new layer and do this again. I, I close this because I want to see the other shape so I know how to place this one. I think I'll convert this to black like this. Okay, I'm good to go. I'll take this down so it will be easy for me. Ctrl T to transform. Okay. Then I'll create another layer. Bring it down. take off the stroke and I'll give this another color okay Good. so I will duplicate this control J to duplicate a layer bring it this way control C to f I want to flip this layer so I can turn it this way easily oh sorry control Z control T again to flip like this Now I'm well set. This is what I wanted. Okay, then I'll bring my resource here. I downloaded a cocoa background so you can check online and get one for yourself if you want to repeat this design again. 
I would like to use this background color. We'll change the background color. And use this method. Color overlay. Sorry, I'm to maintain it. Okay, you can check on the description to see the color hex codes. Okay, then I'll convert this to overlay and decrease opacity. Okay, then I will decrease the opacity for this one also and control click on any object then to take it direct to that object also decrease the opacity for this one Logo here. It's hidden, so I will take this up. Take it up to the top. Then I like. I don't want all this. I need only my logo. So select this and please don't forget to rasterize then ctrl x to cut then delete off this and paste it here now i have my logo alone now we are done with the front you can you can save this well control n to design the back don't forget the size 8.5 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters Do something like this. Create a new layer. Yeah. Few parts. Color. Remember we used red. Okay. I would like to I have to quickly check on the color hex code so I can use the same red as this one so what I will do is this open the color overlay and the hex code I'll copy it. So I can now bring it here. Oh no. Few parts. Color. Then I'll paste my hex code and this is the color. So now I have the same red as the other one. And I'll still bring in my cocoa seed background here. This time I have to power clip my image. Sorry, I'm using Corel Draw language. I have to create a clipping max. 
so it the image goes inside my shape and overlay and decrease this a little okay uh, create a new folder sorry a new layer and I'll do this sorry this is better and take off this stroke I'll make this black okay we are good to go and I will like to add something here few parts color okay this is what I have here so now delete part now I have this here and I would like to bring my logo again control click sorry okay this is my logo select my logo and copy control V to paste logo is here again I think I can take this forward a little drag it backwards and also do same to this one yes and this can enlarge it a little okay now I'll bring these icons here group all so they can maintain the same size Remember, control click on any object to select the object directly. Then I'll start typing my phone number. So let me make this. white um, regular this font name is Gisha and I'll make it 14 for now plus 2 3 4 Okay, it should be nine. Okay, it seems it's crossing here. So I don't want my numbers to be too tiny. That's why I want to leave it at eight. Okay, that's fine. Then I have to. 
Check this in the two. Remember why I don't want to take it backwards here. It's because of when you are done with your design, you have to take it to where after printing, where the gluten job will be done to avoid cutting off your design you have to scale everything and bring it inside okay so now the next one here is mail coffee shop Next one is one zero five Kent Street, Calabar. Hope you know where Calabar is located. It's in Cross River State, Nigeria. And lastly, okay, so you adjust this till all fit its position. think it's spaced too much so I'm going to put everything together again okay this is fine I have to select everything again and make it small. And here I'll add the managing director. Sorry.
so now we are almost done I have to enlarge this a little and this is a QR code in my subsequent videos I will show you how to get this QR code for your design take the few of this time around I would like to use the stroke adjust the stroke carefully so yeah okay now I feel like making this text here bold now we are good to go I think I should shift all these backwards also then we are good to go you can save your design and place it in a mock-up to present for your client now we have designed a business card for coffee shop front and back this is the back and this is the front thanks for watching this video once again if you've not subscribed please subscribe to our channel so you encourage us to produce more videos thank you so much for watching